If Jesus Christ is truly your Lord and Savior, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter what church you attend or who your pastor happens to be. It doesn't matter if you're non-denominational or a member of a major denomination. It doesn't matter which version of the Bible you've read or how much of the Bible you've read. Your faith in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is what matters. What matters is that you have decided to follow Jesus. At one point during the ministry of Jesus, the apostles began to criticize those outside of their small group who were preaching in the name of Jesus. The apostles felt like they were the true followers of Jesus and all the others were somehow inferior. Jesus made it clear that Christianity is not an exclusive club. He let the apostles know what matters. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to prevent him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not hinder him, for there is no one who will perform a miracle in my name and be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. For he who is not against us is for us. Trusting Jesus is not a private club. Anyone with a pure heart can be a follower of Jesus. In fact, Jesus made it clear to the apostles that disrupting a true believer was a serious misstep. In essence, Jesus told them it would be the same as turning someone away from God. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe to stumble, it would be better for him if, with a heavy millstone hung around his neck, he had been cast into the sea. Jesus taught that admonishing or hindering the faith of sincere believers would push them away rather than attract them to a deeper relationship. Like salt that makes some foods more attractive, the apostles were called to make the gospel attractive. However, a superior attitude would only repel new believers. Salt is good, but if the salt becomes unsalty, with what will you make it salty again? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Believers are not to be at odds with other believers. Sincere fellowship with other believers is what attracts unbelievers to Christ. Our mission as followers of Jesus Christ is to attract others to Him, not push them away by acting in some way superior. What matters is that we have put our faith and trust in Jesus. Encouraging others to do the same should be our number one priority.